Hey peeps, today we'll talk about trap castles, how to build one, how to play one and all there is to the topic and at the end there will be some example reports with uh, short comments on what's happening. Let's start with the question what is a trap castle? Basically a trap castle is a setup where the player takes advantage of how cheap it is to build tier 1 troops and how little power they add to your account. So bigger players are tricked into thinking they can solo you and in most cases they lose the attack. Uh, it's really fun to play this setup as you catch a lot of people off guard and sometimes they don't even get a report. Also important to note is that trap castles aren't only effective against solo attacks uh, but sometimes even against rallies as well. One of the most important things about this setup is that the player should stay at a lower power score so it can be easier to bait your enemies into hitting you. Uh, we already mentioned uh, the, that T1 troops help you a lot with that uh, because they are cheap to train and fast to train and cheap and fast to heal. Uh, but the troops aren't the biggest factor when it comes to keeping low power. Uh, it's actually research. Uh, Trap castles can skip on most research trees, hence keeping their power even lower. Uh, for example, you can stop researching when you have your production tree uh, and military tree maxed, so you have T4s, your expedition tree uh, up to level 5 rebel leaders, uh, so you can feed your lance uh, rebel boxes, the formation tree just so uh, the formation tree just so you get uh, something else than the default formation. Uh, also the refinement tree is something you don't want to skip out on because it gives you hu huge stats and that is quite help helpful. And finally a thing you want as a trap castle is the iron defense tree maxed because the final research enhanced defense uh, it gives you extra 3 million troops on the wall, which is quite vital for a trap castle. Anything else uh, in terms of research isn't a necessity for you, uh, if you if you choose this setup. Of course, you can, you can research other things, but keep in mind that each research increases your power uh, and it makes you look like not a trap castle anymore. While we're still on the power topic, let's talk about... Uh, the troops a bit more, uh, the troops that you will be building. First off, you want the majority of your troops to be one type. Infantry, cavalry, spear, bowmen, it doesn't matter as long as they are one type. Uh, and let's say that you have your iron defense tree maxed and you have uh, 15 or 16 million defense on your wall. Uh, you, can, you can go with 4 to 5 billion T4s. 2.5 to 3.5 million T3s, uh, 2.5 to 3 million T2s, and the rest tier 1 troops. And that should be around 250 million power in terms of troops. Uh, before, it used to be viable to, to build less T4 and T3 troops and more T1s, but nowadays it's not the best idea as the solo and rally army sizes are increasing as well as the bigger players that are most likely growing faster than your own stats. So you would need a stronger backline uh, to, to deal with all that. So after building your 16 million defense, you can just spam tier 1s as they are cheap and fast to train. Uh, for example, you can have 30 million T1s just to, to have some in stock. Uh, and, and that way, when you take a hit, you can take another hit right after that without the need to run and hide to retrain your troops uh, to, to build up your defense again. You can do that later on. Uh, and finally about troops, I want to mention that you can build a few troops from the other types that you're not using. Uh, the reason is quite obvious, your alliance. You can have uh, half a million to one million troops from each type just so you can use them in events and join your team's rallies. As we're near the end, I want to, I want to say a few things on playing this kind of setup, actually. 
Uh, so first, anyone can play a trap castle, even free-to-play players. Today getting to T4s isn't that hard as a couple of years ago, so even free-to-play players can take advantage of being a trap castle. And when it comes to commanders, it's absolutely the same. You again don't necessarily need a synergy and eight commanders. You can do just fine with Werewolf tree commanders that complement your troop type, even even if it's just stats. Uh, a thing that you should always watch out for is the blockade dragon ability, as it it can be quite deadly for this setup. Usually, really strong players have it, and until the blockade is over, they might have penetrated your tier one mage shield. So, with that said, it becomes quite obvious that you should pick your fights and assess if you can take a hit from some player. And it's perfectly fine to run away or bubble if you think you won't be able to defend against someone. It, it happens. Finally, if, if you're taking a rally and you have teammates near you, ask for reinforcements with their dragons if possible. Each dragon would enhance your defense even more and you'll get a better result in the end. So, with all that said, it, that was about it. I hope you learned something new and enjoy this short compilation of reports from Trap Castles. Thank you